welcome viewers welcome to my pedagogy classes and today's topic of discussion is descriptive linguistics descriptive linguistic is that branch of linguistics which is concerned with the description and analysis of the ways in which language operates so in this particular topic we are going to study language on the basis of physiology psychology and etymology now physiological aspect of a language is a mechanical aspect in which we study language according to its sound and content the sound part is called as phonology in which we study phonemes and phonemes together are the combination of vowels and consonant sounds vowel sounds are 20 in number in which we have monophthongs and diphthongs monophthongs are 12 pure vowels while diphthongs are 8 impure vowels on the other hand Consonants are 24 in numbers, which include two semi vowels. The other hand of physiological aspect is a morphology, which deals with content and words of a language. Now, again, the study of words, which is called as morphology, can, uh, can be divided under two heads. We can study words under two heads, which are free and bound. Now, the free words are the root words from which other words also erupt. Now, the free word, like example, I've written on the board, friend, care, and book. book. These are the root words and the words suffix and prefix, other can be added to these root words. So, to form new kind of words which have totally new meaning. These are bound affix. Now, bound words are categorized under three head. Prefix, infix, and suffix. Prefix are the words which are placed before the root word. For example, un is placed before able, so it becomes unable. Or this is placed before obey, so it becomes disobey, and which has totally different meaning than obey. Similarly, there are infix, so a word will be added before and after the root word like unfriendly uncomfortable so there are two words un and li in unfriendly un and able in uncomfortable which has quite different meaning from that of root word comfortable and friendly in this case the third and the last one is suffix when a word is added after the root word so in this case care less a word less is added to the root word care. In this case, comfortable. Word able is added to the root word comfort. So these are the three heads under which bound words can be studied. <clears throat> on the other hand, that is psychological aspect. A language can be studied on the basis of syntax and semanticity. These are the words which we already have discussed in our previous lectures. Syntax is all about the grammar of language and semanticity is the word taking an image of object, idea or event. Finally, we come to the last aspect that is etymological aspect which is concerned with the study of roots of the words. For example, the word language comes out of root word lingua which is a Latin word. Similarly, education comes out of word educer, educator and educate which again all are latin words and similarly curriculum comes out of a latin word curate this is all about the structure of the descriptive linguistics we can study a language on these three heads thank you so much for watching this video